Hello, everybody. My name is Samreen Ahmed. I'm a medical oncologist um, at the University Hospitals of Leicester. And I um, was in a privileged situation to um, present uh, immunotherapy going into operable disease at the Talk 2021 virtual meeting. And just to start off with, really, um, BTOG, as always, delivered uh, what it had promised. Um, and um, Gina and um, Dawn have done a wonderful job and the, the virtual team have done an amazing job at getting it all together. So um, my talk, um, I had a very specific brief from our chairman to talk about immunotherapy, which has obviously changed um, cancer treatments for all cancers. But in um, non-small cell lung cancer, it's really changed the whole landscape over the last five years. And so um, I just went through the uh, pivotal studies which have taken place in advanced lung cancer, then showed um, how the, the whole space is now moving into um, earlier uh, stage lung cancer, and then so stage three lung cancer, um, and hopefully the the outcomes we're seeing at four years for stage three lung cancer are equivalent to those um, coming out for earlier stage three surgery even, um, and we'll see what the five-year outcomes uh, for the Pacific study are. So then um, the main point of my talk was how immunotherapy and chemotherapy combinations are changing the landscape of surgery. And so preoperative chemotherapy and immunotherapy um, is now being tested. And the thrust of the talk was looking at safety feasibility. Is it deliverable? Does um, this treatment upfront make surgery more difficult? And the pivotal study, Checkmate 816, uh, presented uh, very recently at AACR a uh, fortnight ago, really hot off the press by Patrick Ford. Um, uh, I went through some of his slides really showing that A, we can deliver the chemotherapy, immunotherapy up front, but most importantly, the primary endpoints of that study were met, i.e. pathological response rates. Uh, and these were much, much higher than chemotherapy alone. Um, and the secondary endpoint was something called major pathological response, which I think we're going to have to get used to. This is less than 10% of tumor, um, viable tumor left in the specimen. And this is major pathological response. And those two endpoints are thought to be surrogate markers for outcome. Um, and we'll see whether how, how closely they follow um, outcome with regards to overall survival. But um, that's the hope. And some of these patients, um, in fact, a majority of patients on the chemotherapy immunotherapy arm received um, complete pathological responses, which has really been unheard of in lung cancer previously. So the key point of the um, whole, uh, I suppose, the session was looking at immunotherapy and um, targeted therapies moving into cure for lung cancer. And really, um, I'm pleased to see, see really the advances we've made in advanced lung cancer are now moving into curative disease.